People want answers for what some are calling a confusing phone alert sent to thousands Friday. The public safety alert was later linked to the search for two men accused of shooting Trooper Cothran. Our Sharon Dinkwa got some answers about the alert from the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation and the Tennessee Emergency Management Agency. I got the kind of Amber Alert style notification on my phone. You know, you usually get those Amber Alerts. I thought that's what it was and I looked down and it said public safety alert. It's an alert that had thousands of phones in Middle Tennessee Friday night buzzing with notifications. And it came with a link. Kept trying to click on it to see what was going on, but it wouldn't load. Like, I initially thought that I just didn't have any service or Wi-Fi. But when she got home minutes later, Laurel Neff says the link still didn't work. And the same thing happened to Minnie Martin. Click it, nothing. Keep clicking it, nothing. And then it would just take you to blank pages after that. And some people started to panic. Uh, is this something that is serious or is this just like a test? Every time you get one of those notifications, it's a little bit alarming. So I, I really had just no idea what was going on. After about an hour, the link started to work. It was alerting people of two men wanted for shooting and injuring Highway Patrol Trooper Adam Cawthron on Interstate 40 in Cookville. But why didn't the information show up before? The Tennessee Emergency Management Agency says it was some sort of technical issue. They sent out the alert with a link the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation sent them. They got multiple calls about the link not working, but then moments later, it worked. Is this going to happen again? You know, what is the plan? If it does happen again, how do we get that information if that mode of communication doesn't work? Both TEMA and TBI say you can always check their social media sites as another way to get an alert. But many say they just hope this doesn't happen again. For WSMV4, I'm Sharon Dan.